Once again. Oh, welcome to day 12 of our house renovation. I just want to take a moment to show you something I've never seen before. Take this fucking toilet out. It's got fucking two little fucking things on top of that bitch. The left one is if you gotta take a piss, the right one is if you gotta take a shit. And that's what it looks like inside the fucking tank. That's pretty badass. Right? A dual flush fucker. So the day, Dave's in there fucking cleaning the rest of the shit off the fucking taking that cover off the air conditioning unit, cleaning all the vines out of that bitch. And fucking, today I'm gonna be fucking coming in here and sanding some more shit down because the fucking the sheetrock work part of this is monotonous. It goes on and on and on. And also, I might go ahead on the tackle fucking with this, giving that a little bit of fixing because somebody kicked the door open and broke that shit. Let's see how sheetrock mud is. That shit right there is still wet. I know it. That's like, a, that's like a damn inch thick down at the bottom down there because the way the wall was cocked out. So, <laughs> it would take a while for that one to fucking get where it's got to be at. So, that's where we're at today. I'm gonna come in here and sand all that shit down and fucking uh and work on fixing that door. I'm just fucking be working on walls for a little bit today and hopefully when the air conditioner guy comes, he'll be able to fucking pump that bitch for some free on or something, get us some air conditioning. Alright. So somebody fucking kicked the door in and they fucking broke the fucking wood ice right all in there between behind that piece of trim and everything. And then they suck a fucking nail in there and it catch the door. The door latched so that the fucking door would work. What I'm doing is fucking take that tool right there, that multi-tool with an aggressive blade and I've cut, I put a, also took a square, put the square on there and I cut all that shit. Then I'm gonna pull that out, cut all them fucking nails and everything like that and put another piece of fucking wood right back in that fucking hole. That way it fucking be a lot quicker and cheaper than tearing out the whole door frame and replacing that shit. So let's see that. Let's see what, go ahead and they cut the piece of wood and put that shit in there. All right. So now I've taken that multi tool and I've cut out all the damaged area I had right there. It took about five minutes. And I measured it. 16 and a quarter inches from the bottom to the top, an inch and a quarter from left to right, and three quarter inch thick. So I took this block of wood right here and cut this out with my skill saw. And I'm gonna go ahead on and just fucking take that and fit that right inside of that fucking hole. Just like that. Just like that. I'll go ahead on and nail that in and sand it down a little bit on the, on the seams and put some wood filler in those cracks. Sand that shit down. Lay out where my block hole's gonna be at, and drill that out with a pedal bit, set my strike on there, and chisel that in a little bit, and then go ahead on that fucking put some caulking on this motherfucker. And by the time it's painted, you won't even know it's ever there. So that, yeah, just like that. All right, so go ahead on and nail that shit in, and move on to the next step. Now, because it is a door, I'm not just going to nail it in there. I'm going to go ahead on and put a little bead of some uh, of some construction adhesive. And today we are using DAP all-purpose construction adhesives. I'm going to go ahead on it. Put a bead of that up in there. I'm going to put it on the back end. Across the bottom, across the top. Just like that. Now, we're going to take the piece that we're going to use and stick it back in the hole like that push it up into that glue 
where it's gonna be at. And with my nail gun, I'll go ahead and just tack it in there. With some long nails. Stay away from where the strike's gonna be at. I'm gonna go ahead and got it like that, right? Next thing I'm gonna do is just draw some fucking wood filler in there and let that shit set up and then take my sand right and sand that shit all down. But first of all, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay out and drill my hole for my, um, for my doorknob, my door lock. Get that done and then we'll fucking uh, finish it, sand it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna fucking come back to this side of the door. And I apologize for being a little shaky about it. Filming it with one hand and uh, working on it with the other hand. Don't know what it worked out so well. I'm gonna go ahead on it. down where my fucking door close is so I know where the fucking little thing is. Now I'm gonna go ahead on with a fucking square. Put the square right here and transfer the line. So I know exactly where my fucking hole's gotta be at. So I can drill it. Right now I just went on and put the door strike on it. I'm just gonna go ahead on the mock where it's at. So I can chisel it out and reset it down and recess it down in the hole where it goes. I'll probably just go ahead on and leave it on there and screw it on there for now and take a razor knife and cut it around and chip it out. All right. So everything's all sanded down, caulked, wood filled, all the nail holes are filled up. It's all glued. The fucking the door strike, the catch is fucking sitting there chiseled in. Every fucking thing's all down for the door. Nice and tight. Nothing's loose. Cut a paint on it, you never know the difference. You cut a paint on that, you never be able to tell. So there you go. Now that's fixed. Now move on to the next thing. We use some of the trim that came from around this door and make a fucking trim frame to go around that motherfucker right there. The attic door. We're at the end of day 12 of our house renovation and everything's all sanded down in the bathroom. I've measured for the baseboard. So we're gonna go pick up new baseboard, some hardy board for the tile, and some new trim for the door. Also, we're gonna get new doors, new six panel doors for all the bedrooms and the closets, including the master bedroom that's gonna have like uh, bifold doors in that room and one of the other bedrooms. So this door is gonna go away, and that one's gonna go away. Today I fixed this. Rebuilt all that to save from having to replace the door frame. I'm putting this fucking trim up around the attic door and stuff like that. It's gonna get a little bit of insulation to seal that up so you don't lose heat. We got it. Uh, found it today that the two units are different from upstairs and downstairs. So this one right here can be repaired. Yeah, so one of them's either going to be repaired or replaced. Um, everything's starting to be fixed on the walls holes. There's a lot of holes in the wall. It's kind of ridiculous. 
up there, you're gonna fucking have to sand that down and mud that shit again. Right here, we're doing wainscoting in this room, so there's no need for putting any kind of sheetrock stuff on the wainscoting or anything in here. In here, doing some sheetrock work, fixing the walls in here. We've decided to keep this fan in here. We've made a list today of new lights. We're gonna take the light that's in the living room and move it over to the middle of the ceiling. This one's getting replaced. This light right here looks like it's original to the house from 1953. It's a classic. For some reason, they put the fucking ceiling fan in the left side of the room. So we're gonna take this fan out and put it in one of the bed, bed, other bedrooms and reuse it. And we're gonna move the outlet for the ceiling fan over to the middle of the room and get a low pro profile nickel ceiling fan to put up there. And also, everything's been sanded down and second coated on this. You're getting new light up there. I'm gonna keep that light. Getting all brush and nickel hardware for the doorknobs and stuff for the doors. Get a new bifold door for right here. One of the six panel high, uh, you know, hollow core door for there. So that's about it. Just fixing walls, doing whatever we can. So we're gonna go be picking up a big load of material tomorrow. And uh, so we can have more shit to do. We'll go ahead on and stop making that header. And probably on Monday, I'll open that wall up and build a header right there. There's a lot of weight up there, so that's gotta be done good. Um, there's stress cracks over top of that header. You know, there's a big unit up there that's sitting on that. All that weight is sitting right there and the wall's holding it up. So you have to take that down and frame a header in and get it nice, build two fake, you know, temporary walls, one on each side to support it while we're doing it. And also I'm getting 12 feet of uh, trim to go down both sides, around the both sides of it, and some one by six to rip through the table saw for the case to open it, and some light covers. And it goes on and on and on and on. And I'll probably save the kitchen for last. So that's what we got at the end of day 12 of our house renovation. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to Get Go TV and hit the little bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. Watch some of the other 300 videos I got on my channel and growing. And just sit back and subscribe to the channel, man. It's important. It gives us a reason to keep making videos on how to do shit. I haven't seen the big ass bugs today, and mine has been kind of calm around here. Nothing exciting going on today. Except for the air conditioning guy come by. That's about it. And of course, he's gonna try to sell you a new air conditioner. He's gonna try to fix the old shit. So, subscribe to the channel and have a good day and stay tuned for tomorrow, day 13.